Hello Alenia. So I thought what I would do, because this question comes up quite often, is just create a short video just to explain how to go through the process. Because when we just write it, people often have troubles trying to make this work. So I thought this would be an easy way of doing it. Now the first thing to do is to make sure that the language codes you think you, you want to use are correct. So you've said that English Caribbean was EN-CB. Actually, I don't think that's the correct code for Studio 2017. I'm not, I don't know about other versions. I'm going to work on the basis of 2017 here. Just let me check. What did you see we're using? You didn't say what version of Studio we're using, so I'm going to go with 2017. So I'm going to open a file, and I'm just going to very quickly open this just a little text file. I'll show you why. All I'm interested in is the language codes here. So I'm going to pick English Caribbean, which is there. Click on OK, and that will open my file up for translation. I'm not actually going to translate it, I'm just going to press Ctrl S just to save it. And then it brings up a window and, and adds the language codes to the name of the file before it gives it the new extension SDLXLIF. You can see there we have ENUS to EN-029. So the language code that Studio is looking for for Caribbean, English Caribbean, is actually EN-029. So that's the first little trick. I'm just going to cancel that and then I'm going to close this. So what I'm going to do, I'll just get rid of that quick test because I don't want it. I'm now going to navigate back to where the Huntsville dictionaries are. So you need to go to the program files here. I'll use the mouse so you can follow me. Program files, go down to SDL. Then try to Studio and Studio 5 for 2017. Each version has its own Huntsville dictionaries. And then if you come down to where all the English are, here's all the English. And you can see that the files come in pairs. So you have an AF file and you have a DIC file. And you need both of these in the correct language in order for you to be able to do a spell check in the version you want. Now it makes sense to base it on a language you've, we've already got and one that might be most similar to what you're using. So I'm just going to take ENGB because I've no idea what you might want to use for this. So what I'm going to do is take that, I'm going to press Control C to copy those, and I'm going to copy them into a folder on my desktop. The reason I'm doing that is because sometimes um, there are protection rights and administration things over trying to do anything in this folder. So if you do them separately, it can be much easier to work with it. The other thing you're going to need is the um, let me just sort it by extension to find it. You want the spell check manager config XML. And I'm going to take a copy of that and put this in here as well, because we need to edit that. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm just going to rename these. I'm sure you can guess what I'm going to do. 029. That's the first one. And rename this. Rename. 029. So that's my Caribbean, English Caribbean dictionary files. And then I need to edit this file here, which I can open in a text editor. So I just open it up. I just use a program called EditPad Pro. It's just a text editor. And in here you can see the language codes are all sorted so that you have um, the language written like this. You have a language element, an ISO code, followed by the dict code, followed by the language code. So we just need to add this into here for the new language. So I'm going to scroll down to the English somewhere. Um, they don't seem to be in alphabetical order, so I don't suppose it really matters. So I'm going to put it in here. So I'm just going to make a couple of spaces there. And I'm going to take that bit, copy it. I'll put it in the middle here so you can see what I'm doing. And paste it. And then I'm going to change this to say EN029 and change this to say 029 and then I'll just close the lines because I can't leave those blank spaces okay like that and save it and then what I'm going to do is I take all three of these and paste them back into here and I'm going to replace the file in the destination you have to make sure that Studio, see I need to have administrative permission for this, I do this for all current items. You need to make sure Studio is closed when you do this. 
um, because otherwise you probably won't be able to edit this but that's now done so in here now if I sort on name I should have when I go to EN EN029 so now I have my Caribbean and now if I open up uh, if I open up studio studio will pick that, that up and allow you to spell check using the Huntsville, di Huntsville dictionaries in Caribbean English Caribbean in my case based on English GB you can tell me what language you actually use as the base for that because I'll be quite interested I guess it's probably English US and not GB at all um, but you can do whatever you think is you, you whatever you think is the most appropriate anyway I hope that helps